Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. Now our next question for the Python practice is write out a Python program that accepts a word from the user and reverse it. Now if you have watched out my previous videos very carefully, very wisely, very decently, so you, may, you must be thinking that okay, this is the program which is already discussed, right? We have already discussed out a program in which we, uh, we just see that how to reverse out a string, right? Now this is the same question, but why I had just put out this question here? Because uh, basically, many of many people have actually their uh, own requirements as well. Own requirements, what I just meant from that word. So from this, I actually mean that let's say you have you are asked to write out a Python program that accepts a word from the user and reverse it. That is okay. But some people can even add a condition here that do this particular program with the help of for loop or do this particular program without using the slicing technique of the strings then how will you be doing that thing right that is a condition which any person can put out here right if someone is asking to write a program then any of the conditions uh, a person can put out here that okay i do not want you to reverse out the string from the slicing i want you to reverse it through any other way let's say any to any loop or to any condition i just want you to reverse that out then how to solve that question that we are going to discuss today in this particular video right so let me just go on to the one note here and let me come down so yes here and let me take out a color as well so that we can start writing out here the things right here let's say i'm having a string that is my under okay just let me keep this my a little small that is my underscore str okay and let's say my string which i'm having here is um shama with my name okay let's say i'm having my name as a string form so I just want this to be in the reverse order that is uh, first I should come then V then A H B M E H uh, S just like this I just want the everything to be coming out here right so that is okay now let's see how to do that thing now in this case I do not want to work upon any particular string let's say I do not want to take the take my input I just want to take out the input from the user okay here we are just uh, I'm just taking out this uh, a string and putting out the name here but when we just implement this onto the pycharm id so in that case i would just not do this particular thing like okay so now let's see how it goes so i could apply a first of all i can just apply a for loop that okay so for i in range for i in range i can just apply out a condition that for i in range now first of all you need to find out the length of the uh, length of the word in which you have stored your string so for me that is my underscore str right then my underscore str now minus one comma minus one comma minus one this is the condition which we would actually apply out here whatever is the length of your string first of all we will subtract one from that particular thing okay after that what we are doing minus one always represents out the negative indexing right so we are moving from the negative index like we are just moving with the because i is having the index as minus one right we, we would be having minus two like this it would be going on right because we have already discussed about the negative indexing in a very 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 detailed way in the previous videos i'm just I'm not going to repeat that out because we have discussed that two times now here this uh, minus one comma minus one and what is this minus one this minus one would be my strip parameter that we actually take in the slicing right but this is using my for loop okay and here inside my for loop i can just simply use how to print the statement and i could simply print here print my underscore str print my underscore str and into the bracket i could put out the index that is like that is going to each and every place and try uh, like trying to reverse out my string that i would be printing out here right and i would just put out a bracket fine this is all this is all you how you just reverse out a string using the for loop actually right now let me just first of all go on to the pycharm id and implement this program there okay implement out this program okay i would just start writing here that let's say my variable is my underscore str and i want to take the input from this string uh, sorry from the user whenever we just take a string input from the user so in that case what we actually do in that case we do not specify any particular data type in the starting we do not at all specify a data type why because if you are not going to specify any particular data type before taking the input from the user so that will automatically be treated as a string and this is what we actually want right we want to take our input from the user or in the string format 
So I would simply write here input before input. I would just not add on any of the data type so input and I would just write here. Um, okay, fine. Let me put out the okay. Just one second a bracket and let me put out this. Okay, and I would just write here enter uh, enter the enter the word into the word which you want okay that which you want to reverse okay enter the word which you want to reverse out here fine come on to a new line here my for loop begins that for for i in rich and what's my range okay let me write out correct spelling for i in okay just one second range now what's my range that i'm going to put out here first of all i'm going to put out the length of a right length a minus but that is not a that is my underscore str and my underscore str and this would be like this fine minus one right put out a comma again minus one put out a comma again minus one and i have already explained that what are these actually referring to okay after this i could simply add on a print a statement here print and i would just write here my underscore str put out the bracket like this here and inside this i could simply write i Right, that is my indexing, which is moving from one play, uh, one position to another. Okay, and I could so just simply run out my program now. Uh, okay, enter the word which you want to reverse. Let's say my word is which I want to reverse is so let's say my name only. Okay, that is like this. Uh, my answer is not defined. Okay, just one second. Instead of this colon, put out a equal to sign. Correct. Now run it out. Fine, enter the board which you want to reverse out. Let's say I'm just taking here now Python. Uh, let's say Python. Right, so here we are just getting P Y T H O N. So it is starting from N O H T Y P. Now this is coming everything in one one single line. Now I just want everything to come into one single line. So what I could start, I could just start N is equal to and like this. Right, I, I could uh, add on like this. Now again, I could just run out my program. So let's say I would just now take here as let's say coding. Coding. Uh, that is like this and hit out now here basically I'm just getting that word into reverse order and that is even in one single line Okay, right. So this is how my word has been reversed G is coming in the fold then N then I then D then O and then C right So this is basically how we divorce out our string we, we distribute out a string with the help of the for loop now We have two ways for reversing out a string that I mentioned first from the slicing which we have already discussed and second one is my for loop which we have discussed today right now basically i hope that you have got a very clear and a very fair idea regarding this particular question right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care